Hey guys, so here's my off-grid solar system as you know. It is charging the Nissan Leaf right now, but I just want to show you guys that I've, uh, I've bought a new charger for it and I was able to charge my Nissan Leaf on 240 volts, which is a level 2 charger, but I'll explain that in a little bit. But basically right now, uh, this one's pulling in uh, 570 watts, um, so on with this thing because there are parallels together, so they kind of split the load. Uh, same amount of panel per inverter, 10 panels here, 10 panels here. So right now we have about, uh, we're pulling about uh, 1.9 uh, 1 kilowatts, so about 1900 watts from this one, and then 1900 watts on this one. So about 4000 watts to my low right now. So uh, let's go to the garage and I'll show you the new charger. Oh, and by the way, the reliable uh, 3500 watts uh, inverter is not so much reliable. So, I, like I told you before, um, originally I bought this inverter and then I had issue with the, with the actual surge load. Uh, it will output 3500 watts continuous, however, it will not put out 3500 watts search uh, which means is you can slowly increase your low up to 3500 watts but you can't just instantly pull more than 2000 watts then it would just shut shuts down um, I've contacted them they sent me a replacement I installed the replacement this was about a year and a half ago or two years ago and I installed the replacement and that one works uh, it worked pretty well for a while work for about I would say a year a year and a half and then suddenly a few months ago it just decided to stop working and I have no idea why it just wouldn't output any more voltage I opened it up and I saw a few of the fuse uh, got blown maybe I have, might have uh, you know overloaded I am not 100% sure so I thought it was just a fuse uh, burnt so I replaced all of the fuse still didn't work doesn't have any voltage will turn on but doesn't have any voltage output I haven't had time to take a look into it so I had the old one which is the first one that had the search uh, uh, limit so I had to pull the other one out and put the, the the original one back in so this is the one that I was telling you about that doesn't have the active ground so here's the charging cable that I got uh, it's a level 2 but it's a max 16 amps at 240 volts, which is uh, 3.8 kilowatts or 3,800 watts. And just some, I guess, some off-brand, off um, probably Chinese made. So I'm going to keep my eyes on it. Um, so there it is. It's not too big. And the model number is BS dash PCD zero two zero okay so it is a it has input up to 230 volts uh, VAC but 240 volts seem to be just fine so um, the thing I like about this is it's, it's a switchable it's a switchable between uh, you can do between 10 amps or 16 amps at 240 volts so you can either do 2400 watts or you do 3800 watts. The only thing is when I check the ground uh, of the MPP or the PIP inverter it's still kind of weird. It's not up to USA standard. Um, when you measure the ground to the line 1 or line 2 uh, I think when I measure from ground to line 1 I have like 60 volts and then when when you when you measure from from line 2 to ground you get like 160 volts or something like that you don't get the 120 because it's not a split phase I guess so there is no neutral in the single phase Chinese 240 volt inverter so I was kind of expecting that it might not work at all but to my surprise the charger came on um, the power button the, gr the green power button is solid and you have the option of switching it between 10 amps or 16 amps so the reason why I got this is because I only I only ran this outlet I only ran uh, a 12 gauge so the maximum it would do is just 20 amps so uh, that's why I, I did the level 2 charger I didn't get the the real level 2 40 amps charger just because it will pull too much power 
because I'm going to be charging with my solar system anyway. So I don't want to charge it too fast. I just want something a little faster than the regular uh, 120 and not, you know, a, a level 2, a real level 2 40 amps charger. And this is perfect. I could charge it at 2400 watts or I could charge it at 3800 watts which is what I'm doing right now. The blue one means that it's uh, 16 amps at 240 volts. Charge the Nissan Leaf on the 240 volt, which is much better. Um, I, you know, I really didn't w really want to mess with that reliable inverter.